Hey guys, how's it going? It's Czar here signing in. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, here we are, postseason 2020. Tonight, the game one of the uh, best of three of the American League wild card, uh, fourth seed and the fifth seed. Uh, the New York Yankees will, will be uh, at Progressive Field taking on the Cleveland Indians tonight. Okay, and um, you know, you know, usually. My take would be, uh, especially with this type of team and how it was built, that the Yankees would go there and pretty much steamroll uh, any team, really. But um, different feel, you know, especially the way this team has played. Um, very streaky, very inconsistent at times. Uh, at times, they seemed like they were just unbeatable. So, um, you know, a lot of members of the media came out, gave out their prediction. One of them was Mark Teixeira, Mark Teixeira, who I know... You know, obviously, we all know, play for the New York Yankees. Um, never been a big uh, text guy. I mean, I respect and everything what he did for us on the field and all, but just his personality, the way he came off, I just wasn't a big fan of him. Um, and I, you know, and, and the prediction was that he picked the Cleveland Indians to win in, in three games, which I don't necessarily disagree with him. That's his opinion. I mean, he, hey, he, he works, uh, now he's on the other side of it. He works for, uh, you know, he's an analyst for ESPN. He, that's what he gets paid to do, to give his opinion. And he's not necessarily wrong for that, okay? Just because he was a former Yankee, uh, you know, doesn't mean that he has to pick the Yankees, you know, just like us. I mean, hey, wouldn't it surprise me if the Yankees win this series? And at the same time, um, it wouldn't be surprised me if they didn't, okay? And that is, that is just based on what we've seen, how the way this team has played throughout the, you know, the 60-game uh, schedule here in 2020. So, um you know, we wait to see. Hopefully, it's the Yankees who won the 10 games in a row that shows up and not the 5-15. and 15. Um, You know, tonight we have our ace, Garrett Cole, going for us against uh, Cleveland's ace, Shane Bieber. So, um, you know, and I and I and my pick is if the Yankees are going to win the series, they have to sweep, win the first two games behind Cole and Tanaka. And now, but that being said, the Yankee offense has to get going. Okay, they have to score runs. You know, the past years, this team, which I know, you know, everyone always says we needed that, you know, that ace, that number one, that Garrett Cole, whatever, or why the Yankees didn't go after Verlander. Yeah, that is true. Yes, I agree. But the times the Yankees, uh, when they were playing in Houston, they just did not score runs. And that, to me, was the reason why they didn't win. Okay. So I think that's the big key for this team. And if they're going to go far in the playoffs and win it all, they have to rely on their offense also. Okay? they got to get the timely hit. they got to come up clutch. Whatever it is. But is the, the, the offense has to get going. Okay? We cannot expect, you know, Garrett Cole to be throwing up zeros and, you know, and try, try to um, squeeze a run in and win the game one nothing. That's just way too much to ask for. But this team has to get going offensively. Okay, it it would you know it would be uh, it would be sad if you know Gary Cole pitches a great game and the Yankees still would lose two nothing. Okay, if that happens, forget it. it. It's over. So, you know the Yankees. I, to me, my, that's my prediction. That's my opinion. That the Yankees are going to win this series. They have to win games one and two behind Cole and Tanaka. Okay, you know they're going to throw out. Aaron Boone said most likely they'll throw out Jay Happ for game three. And, you know, I really, you know, I don't like my chances. You know, Cleveland's throwing um, Shane Bieber, Carrasco, and uh, and Plezak. Yankees are going with Cole, Tanaka, and Hap. So, um, I just, um, I wouldn't like our chances too much then. Okay. It was announced that Kyle Higashioka will be uh, catching um, Garrett Cole in game one. And at this point, I know it's sad to see Gary Sanchez and the way how this year has gone for him. But you have to go with what's going to give you the best chance to win the game. And if that's the case, well, then you know what? Then, I mean, Gary Sanchez pretty much caused his own benching. And I don't know, maybe he could still, you know, make it, use him as pinch hitter late, you know, later on, late in the game. Who knows? Or if he'll get the start tomorrow with Tanaka. Well, we shall see what happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, look, with this. Yankee, uh, the baby bombers came up, you know, Gary Sanchez, Aaron Judge. You know, all these guys, when you know, especially them two, when they came up, you know, you figured, okay, this would be, um, you know, the two, you know, big stars of the game, of the team, you know, the guy, you know, they uh, lift the team up on their, 
on their back said, let's go. But you really can't, you know, fast forward four years later, you really can't, especially with Gary Sanchez, the way he's played. Uh, Aaron Judge, you know, who hasn't been able to stay healthy, but, you know, he was off the IL. Now it seems like he's getting a swing back and hopefully, we, uh, you know, injury free, which is important, you know, with Stanton and all those guys, Luke Voigt, uh, DJ LeMahieu, you know, rely heavily on these guys and, um, and you know, hopefully uh, the 10 and 0, uh, the 10, 10 games in a row team shows up. Okay. And, uh, and guys, I know game's about to be on. I'll be tuned in. You know, all you guys will as well. You know, hopefully uh, win one tonight, win one tomorrow, move on, and probably face uh, Tampa Bay Rays as uh, they uh, probably, I see them winning that series against Toronto. And, um, and yes, you know, definitely a moment we've been waiting for. You know, nothing almost like that October baseball feel. New York Yankees, uh, it's time for it to win it all this year, okay? I know Brian Cashman said a few years ago he doesn't want to win a championship at the expense of championships, but in order for that to happen, let's get one championship out of the way. All right? And let's go, hey. New York Yankees, man, let's go. Mission 28. All right, guys, so hope you enjoy the game. Um, remember to uh, to subscribe, hit that, notif hit that notification bell. It's the czar here signing off. The evil empire lives. Let's go, Yankees.